This video offers some updates for the uh, Google Earth Powers of 10 video tutorials created a few years ago. There have been both some changes, I think improvements in Google Earth and Google Maps since then, and some other tools have either been created or come to my attention in the interim that make it quicker and easier to make these things. Uh, so for the addendum here, I'm going to use Balanced Rock at Devil's Lake State Park as our center point. Um, for the powers of 10 instead of Teganic. Um, something that I want to do too is go to my preferences and make sure that I'm on decimal degrees. Uh, and that's there. And then I'm going to click on this place mark that I made earlier that's at about the location of Devil's Rock. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I did not have GPS readings for it, so it's not, probably not quite exact. Um, and what I just did was I opened up the uh, properties um, and on a PC it's called properties. You can get it by uh, right clicking on the thing or you can go in your menus and find it there. Um, on the Mac it's under it shows as get info in the edit menu and in the PC it's called properties and from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the latitude in decimal degrees go over to my browser and plug that in on this site that's linked uh, next to the video gpsvisualizer.com on the calculators page and scrolling down towards the bottom of the page I get to draw range rings around a point I'm plugging in the latitude and longitude for the point from Google Earth and I've also copied and pasted in the radius readings, 5 meters, 50 meters, 500 meters, uh, 5,000, no, I'm sorry, not 5,000 kilometers because that won't fit on the Earth very well. And I've selected um, Google Earth as my map format, which is a change from the earlier videos. I think it's a little bit easier to do this in Google Earth than in Google Maps. I'm going to click Draw Maps, and it's created um, a Google Earth output file which I've just now downloaded and I'm going to go to downloads because it's covered up by my video controls and I'm going to open it up I'm going to close this and it's drawn the range rings around it so that gets us um, that gives us a, a big help in drawing our um, boxes is what we can do now. I'm going to zoom right into five meters which will get too small to see very much. Boy, pretty good resolution though, I'll tell you. And back out a little bit, maybe I can actually figure out where Balanced Rock is. Somewhere right around here. Um, and I'm going to uh, draw a box around that which will look funny because the earth is not flat here use my polygon tool and I'm just going to click where I think the corners of the box go um, and uh, I just clicked once in each corner and now I can slide them around a little bit if you drag while you're instead of clicking in each corner it'll uh, um, draw a whole bunch of points instead of just four corners now that's a solid box. I don't want it a solid box. I want it just outlined. I also want a thicker line than that. I think I'll go with five um, opacity. You can choose what you want. You can also choose different colors. Um, something a little funkier than white is kind of nice. Okay. And that color choice will stick with me for the next box out. Oh, I forgot to title it though, so let's do that and call that, um, this was 5 meters by 5 meters, or I'm sorry, this is a 5 meter radius circle. So I'm going to go 10 meters by 10 meters for the size of the box, and the rest of that stuff you can copy from the other one. And you just click on the next box out, and it'll zoom to that scale, and you can draw that circle again, which is going to be a lot funkier on this, uh, this very sharp uh, landscape that I'm on and that's how you do it and I'm gonna stop